It's happened. I'm saying goodbye to my F-150 Lightning. <sighs> it's a sad day, but it's just gotta happen. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Aren't you the guy, the fanboy guy, who's always preaching about your F-150 Lightning like you're some kind of obsessed freak with Ford product? Well, actually, that's not true. I'm not obsessed with Ford product. Oh, oh, no. This is a channel about EV trucks, both good and bad. I love the whole idea of electrification of trucks, but I'm a truck guy and think that all trucks should do what trucks do. So not exactly correct on that front. But aren't you also the guy who said you loved this Lightning and that you'd never get rid of it and this was going to be the truck that you'd keep? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I actually, I did say that. I did say that, but uh, there's, there's reasons for this. Let's get to that. I'm going to show you what those reasons are, but I've got to say goodbye to Igor. I yeah, my, my truck's name is, uh, is Igor. <laughs> it's not like I have some kind of, uh, you know, manhood issue where I find it necessary to name my vehicles with some testosterone-fueled name to try to make myself feel tougher or something, you know. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I mean, what the frick am I thinking? All you've heard about is how I think... It you know, the F-150 Lightning XLT is a great truck. It's got some problems, got this and that that doesn't work very well. But why would I get rid of it? I mean, what the heck is wrong with it? I mean, what am I thinking? Well, this channel is called Trucked Up EVs. It's about all kinds of trucks. You can't just have one truck and just keep going without one truck without actually experimenting with other options. But then I started looking at all those other options. And I looked at the Cybertruck, which, well, there's a pretty long waiting list, although it seems to be getting shorter. According to many social media posts, both on Reddit, Facebook, Facebook and Twitter, we're seeing a lot of reservation holders already being contacted by Tesla here in Canada and their orders are already being fulfilled. But still, we've got word of the pricing and I found out that if I want to buy a Cybertruck just a dual motor, I'm spending $137,690 and if I want to buy the Cyberbeast that I originally was hoping for at $69,900 US, it's now $167,990 Canadian, which is absolutely bonkers. And then out comes the Silverado EV RST. The only one that kind of holds up to the F-150 Lightning is the Silverado EV. This truck could definitely be something that I could look at. However, you've got to drop all the way down to a 3WT to get anywhere in the range of what you'd be buying a Lightning for. You're still starting at almost $80,000 for the truck. This is bare bones. It doesn't have any of the interior bells and whistles, not even as much as what's inside the F-150 Lightning Pro, the base model of the Lightning. What's more, the Lightning Pro currently qualifies for all of Canada's incentives, both provincially and federally. So if you're where I live in the province of British Columbia and, and you haven't bought one of these before, knock another $9,000 off of that $62,890. On top of that, right now the Lightning's getting employee pricing. The XLT is about the same price as the Pro. Suddenly something's happened with EV trucks. The promise of them being affordable for us has vanished. So for some little fart like me to go out and buy one of these things, oh, that's just, it gets absolutely uh, insane. You're gonna give away your whole life to buy a freaking truck? No, but I got plans. There's a lot of things that I wanted to do with this channel, including I was planning on doing my truck dump stops across this country, where I would go to every single province and I would meet and greet with all of you. And then I would also rate each province, whether that province was getting the truck dump stamp of approval, if it was trucked up or completely and utterly <laughs> Well, we were going to find out, but suddenly that becomes more and more of a logistical nightmare. Number one, a lot of the places I'm planning on getting to might be a little eh, as far as access. How can I put a lift into my truck that allows me to get more off-road and adventure oriented with my F-150 Lightning, longer wheelbase, brake over height, all of those kind of things means I need to have more clearance and whether or not I can get that clearance added without hurting the warranty on the truck. Something that would be useful for all of you trucked up folks to know. And then on top of that, if I wanna put on 
tires that can actually handle any kind of adverse road conditions. We can't just slap on some standard factory tires and go down a forestry service road over all kinds of uh, questionable uh, surfaces. So we need to get ourselves some tires. You put those tires on there, so just those two things. And goodbye to your range. The truck is designed for the airflow underneath, the airflow over top of the vehicle. The moment you create that kind of resistance by raising the truck up off the ground, you're gonna lose range. And then you're gonna take these EV-oriented low resistance or rolling resistance tires. That's what you want. You want like an incredibly efficient tire. But the moment you go to an incredibly efficient tire, you're not going to an all-terrain. If you wanna do anything that's off-road, you've got to go with a tire that's going to eat up your range. Try doing that in a standard, tiniest battery F-150. <clears throat> Not going to happen. So I'm left with a dilemma. I can't buy any of the new vehicles because they're so expensive I'd need to sell one of my children. I only got one. And I don't really want to sell her. I find her she's quite lovely. Uh, you know, it depends on the price. No, I'm serious. No, I would never sell. Well, no, I wouldn't. Selling your firstborn and maybe taking out a mortgage or two you know, to buy a truck. Can't do it, just not gonna happen. Can't, can't be done. All my wealth also is in the truck. So then what do you do? You got all your equity inside a vehicle that you don't wanna have your equity in. Well, selling it's a pretty good idea. Get all that cash out before it starts to really depreciate. But on that note, it hasn't depreciated very much. It's amazing how well they hold their value compared to almost every other EV in the world. In fact, Donut Media found that they were number one for holding their resale value. So all that crap and FUD and garbage about them losing their money, losing your shorts if you buy one, well, actually it's not that bad. I'm gonna take my cash out, park it in the bank. <sighs> but then what? What are we gonna do, trucked up folks? What are we gonna do? It's so difficult to say goodbye to my electric truck. I, you know, I've got the channel. I've been setting it up. I've got my loyal community. They want to learn more about EVs and what's happening with the electrification of trucks. And how am I going to do it without having a truck, especially when I want to go on my truck up stops across the country? <laughs> Just, what am I going to do? I don't know. I got some ideas, though. Maybe I can, uh, you know, I, I, could, I could rent Turo. Well, it might cost thousands. Uh, what kind of options are there? I mean, I gotta do better than a standard range if I'm gonna travel right across the country. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I'm, uh... Oh! It's, uh... It's Thor! I am so hoping that you will come and join me and Thor as we travel across Canada on our Truck Top Stop Tour from province to province so we can rate those provinces and give them the stamp they deserve, whichever way it goes. I'm hoping you'll come along for the ride and I'm also hoping you'll support the trip. You'll now see that I have a store below with my Truck Top t-shirt on sale as well as some other great t-shirts and mugs. I think you're going to like them. So please check them out if you can't, no problem at all. And please like and subscribe. Click that bell notification icon below because the next video coming up is all about why I chose Thor, a lightning flash, over every other EV truck configuration that I can get my hands on. I think you'll agree with my decision, but check it out and I can't wait to hear from all of you in the comments. And on that note, I hope you'll let me know if you'd like to meet in person and be a part of my Trucked Up Stop Tour. If you've got friends and family and you wanna come out and talk everything trucked up, I can't wait to meet you in person. And I also wanna let you know that because of you, this community, I've already raised a little bit of funds, not a lot, but enough that I can get one or two items before I leave on my trip, both associated with my GoPro. This is really helpful. And this channel's tiny and on a very tight budget to do a very, very big thing. So any help that you can give by clicking the donate button, I really appreciate it. And if you can't, not a worry. Again, I want to thank this great community. I can't wait to meet you all on the road. Talk to you soon.